Howdy folks, I don't usually record math lessons quite this late, but really it's the perfect ending to the day. And we've got a simple objective in tonight's Wrath of Math lesson, which is to figure out which complete graphs are planar? Which complete graphs can be drawn in the plane with no edge crossings? How I'd recommend solving this problem, if you're not sure how to go about it, is verify that the first few complete graphs are planar by drawing them in the plane with no edge crossings. Then, once you identify the first complete graph that you think is non-planar, use some of the theorems that we've already proven about planar graphs to verify that it isn't. And I'll leave links to all of the other planar graphs lessons in the description, so if you want to uh, catch up on anything, you can find all that good stuff down there. Then, once you prove that a certain complete graph is non-planar, you might think all the other complete graphs with more vertices are also non-planar. So then it just comes down to having sound logic as to why you think that is. So give that a try. Try solving the problem. Let me know what complete graphs do you think are planar and which ones are non-planar. Now let's go through the solution. So we'll start off just by identifying the first few planar complete graphs. How about the complete graph on one vertex, K1? Ooh, looks like that's planar. There it is in the plane with no edge crossings. How about the complete graph K2? Ooh, no problem. There it is in the plane with no edge crossings. How about the complete graph K3? I got a good feeling about this one. Oh look, there it is in the plane, not an edge crossing in sight, that's planar as well. How about the complete graph K4, is this planar? Well, let's draw it in a really, what I think is an aesthetically pleasing way to draw K4, just like that. And we see that the complete graph on four vertices is also planar. There it is, with no edge crossings. All right, now, what about the complete graph on five vertices, K5? We'll start drawing that up here. If you were trying to draw K5 in the plane with no edge crossings, you might start something like this with the Hamiltonian cycle. Then we need a few more edges in here, so we'll join those vertices, join those vertices. Then we need to join this vertex to this vertex, but we can't go through here, so we'll have to go out and around to avoid any edge crossings. We also need to join this vertex to that vertex, but again, we can't go through here or we'll have edge crossings, so we'll have to go out and around. Now, we just need one more edge, which is to join this vertex to that vertex, but we can't go through here or we'll have edge crossings. We can't go out and around because we'll have edge crossings. Looks like it can't be done. I'll draw an edge with the edge crossing just so we complete the graph, but then we might suspect that this is where it stops. All complete graphs after K4 are non-planar. That's what we think. All right, so can we verify that K5 is non-planar? Easy way to check just sort of our first line of attack would be to see if the complete graph K5 satisfies this upper bound condition for the size of planar graphs. So any planar graph that has at least three vertices, so its order n is greater than or equal to three, which for K5, that's certainly true, it has at least three vertices. Any planar graph with at least three vertices must satisfy this inequality, that its number of edges is less than or equal to three times its number of vertices minus six. For a proof of that, again, I'll leave links in the description so you can check that out. So, so again, if a graph is planar with at least three vertices, it satisfies this inequality. That means that if a graph doesn't satisfy this inequality, it can't be planar. Note that if a graph does satisfy this inequality, that doesn't mean that it is planar. But if it is planar, it has to satisfy this inequality. So if it doesn't, then it's non-planar. So let's see, does K5 satisfy this inequality? How many edges does K5 have? Well, that would be five choose two. And what is five choose two equal to? 
5 factorial divided by 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial, which is equal to 10. So K5 has 10 edges. And if K5 is planar, then its number of edges, which is 10, should be less than or equal to 3 times its number of vertices minus 6. 3 times 5 minus 6. That's 15 minus 6, which is equal to 9. Oh no, look, it doesn't satisfy the inequality. The number of edges in K5 is greater than, so we'll write that, the number of edges in K5 is greater than 3 times its number of vertices minus 6. Thus, K5 must be non-planar because it doesn't satisfy that necessary condition for a graph to be planar that has at least three vertices. This is a corollary of Euler's formula, by the way. So, K5 is non-planar, we verify that. Then, we think any complete graph with more than five vertices should also be non-planar. How can we be sure? Well, it's because if a graph contains a non-planar subgraph, then it can't be planar either. Any complete graph with more than five vertices contains K5 as a subgraph. And in fact, K5 also contains K5 as a subgraph. Just for an example, imagine that the complete graph K6 was planar. Well, then you could draw it in the plane with no edge crossings and then just delete one of its vertices. And what you would have left would have to be K5 drawn in the plane with no edge crossings. But we know that can't happen because K5 is non-planar, so K6 is non-planar too, and so is K7, K8, and so on. Again, if a graph has a non-planar subgraph, then that original graph can't be planar. Every complete graph with at least five vertices has K5 as a subgraph, and thus any complete graph with at least five vertices has to be non-planar. So there is our answer to the question. Which complete graphs are planar? Well, that would be K1, K2, K3, and K4. Which ones are non-planar? All the rest of them. So, hope this video helped you understand which complete graphs are planar and why. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.